Happy Dad Death Row, coolest collab of 2023. Must be 21 and older drink. It's not an ad, but I wish it was. <laughs> But I can't catch a break, dude. They're getting wrecked online daily, and it's like it gets more and more daily. It's like a snowball effect. So check this out. So yesterday they tweeted this. It was Friday yesterday. They tweeted, "Thank God it's Friday." In my opinion, they tweeted this to uh, to test the waters. They got wrecked, wrecked in the comments, like wrecked, dude. I see you change your cam back. Good luck with that. You're a sick company. Hell no. Your beer used to be a symbol of a good time. Now it's a symbol of offensive woman face and woke BS. Deflect must. That's not an apology. No apology. No business. We will continue to boycott woke light until you apologize. I don't drink trans beer. No gender fluid for me. Thanks. And it just goes on and on and on. Look, before Bud Light, after what? It just goes on and on and on. They're getting wrecked online. And they lost a bunch of money. How much did they lose? Like six, seven billion dollars from their market cap? I think they shouldn't tweet anything. I think they shouldn't. They should figure out a way to fix this. They should figure out a way to fix this because it keeps getting worse. Worse. Anheuser Busch yesterday or two days ago, they put out that statement. It just said a bunch of nothing. Go read them. You guys should go check out that statement that they put out on Twitter. You guys should just read it. It makes it's 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 a bunch of empty words. It's nothing. Just read the comments. I think people are tired of it, bro. People are tired of stuff being pushed in their face that doesn't belong in people's face. Look, there's a time and place for everything. Dylan Mulvaney, there's a time and place for Dylan Mulvaney. Like, Dylan Mulvaney does not belong with Bud Light. Dylan Mulvaney does not belong with Nike, right? Do some collabs that make sense. The Bud Light, I don't know what they were thinking. Nike, I don't know what they're thinking, dude. It just, those collabs don't make sense. I have no problems with transgenders, man. I just have a problem when stuff doesn't make sense and when stuff is forced down your throat, forced down your throat, forced down your throat, dude. I just think people are tired. And how do, how do I know people are tired? Just go look at the comments of everything, okay? Before, like, a few years ago, five years ago, when people posted some woke stuff, when you look at the comments, there was very few pushing back. Now, when you look at comments, when you look at comments, it's like 90% is pushback. That's how I know people are tired, but we're going to see what's Bud Light's next move. But let me know what you think of this in the comments, and it'll mean the world to me if you like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the note. Thank you so much for watching.